<laughs> How about this Scrucci? Cinderella story that's about to come here? This this is going to be really interesting to watch. Already in the green. Wow, that thing is fast. Alex Bowman came here to run the 500 for BK Racing in 2014. Finished in the top 25. And look at that advantage build over Denny Hamlin. That car is, you know all you can say about that car? I think it's fast. <laughs> The FedEx Camry of Hamlin sitting, rolling, waiting. Wow, is he uh, picking this, up? This, this, uh, this, this may go into the 45s. I, I'm just thinking uh, what a difference a year makes for Alex Bowman. This I mean, he wasn't even well in the Daytona 500 second, last year. 45 second lap. Right at it, 46. Oh, oh, two. Wow. Alex nice Bowman job, has uh, just won the pole down, for the Daytona 500. Kyle Busch, a great one and two. Look at the speed he's carrying down the back straightaway, continuing in the green. Right to the yellow line. A little bit of wobble. It's back a little the loose car, right there in the middle. Still looking good. But he's in it. Ninth for Jones. Uh, hello. Whoa, Kyle Busch to the top. And somewhere, Buddy Baker is smiling. <laughs> Little wiggle in the back. See if he can make up for it through three and four. Car looks good right down to the bottom. Man, he did. He sailed that thing in there. Yeah, just not going to be good enough. Big handful of wheel coming off turn four. Ryan Blaney putting a lap together. Jones Two tenths fifth. up going into turn three. Wow. Whoa! You can see him bobble. Oh, no, sorry. That's Logano on the left that bobble. Wow, what a lap by Ryan Blaney. Top of the top, 28-20. Fastest lap, fastest lap of the day. Here we go, off of turn four, he comes to the green, carrying a lot of speed. Listen to this car in the braking zone. Really deep into the braking zone, hard on the brake, and then back to the throttle aggressively off of turn two. Not a bobble either, that car just gets off there so good. Look at this, he cuts off the dog leg. That's just a little bit of time gain and, and distance gained, again, really hard on the brakes. Look at it, keeps that right front just below that seam. Car cuts back down the yellow line, hard in the throttle. Carry great speed to the line. That, I, that was just about as perfect of a lap as you can get. Here's Kurt Busch, the track record holder and fastest in practice this morning. I like the way that car really cut through the corner. It looked like it got through there really nice. Car looks stable. Yeah, Ice right. up off a corner. Well, I mean, he's actually able to unwind the steering wheel and carry that speed out to the wall instead of holding it down tighter, trying to stay away from the wall. Looking pretty good here, yeah, guys. Real good. Car car looks looks solid, man. Really solid. David Reagan, 15th, and Kurt Busch to the top. Three 100s faster than his teammate Harvick. Busch really flew through turns one and two, right glued to the bottom. That car is on the rail. Oh, it looks really good through three and four. Could be in the 14s without a problem. Boom, 14.89. Kyle oh, Bush. Kyle, even faster. <laughs> and I thought Kyle missed the bottom a little bit in one and twos. You see, he does again there, but he carries good speed. 8.95 to an 8.97. They'll both run another lap. Kurt Busch slows down that lap. Kyle Busch slows down that lap. So right now, they are still 1-2 with 13 seconds to go. This is for the Bush Pole. Oh my gosh, he drove that in there nice. Yeah, he did. Oh boy. I don't know if it'll stick or not, but he drove her in there. That turned down to the bottom really nice. Little wiggle up off the tube. You still think that second lap, DWs? Yeah, it, it'll be better. Our car looks really nice yeah. and stable, driving off the corner well. Wow, first lap, 21.82. You could hear him just get into that rep limiter. That's within four one-hundredths of his best lap in this session. Yeah. Right now, looking a little bit better than that lap. Second lap ought to be money. Oh, yeah. Oh, he got a little wide off of turn four. Might have hurt him. Yeah, I think it hurt him a little bit. Well, well 79. Very only little, but one one-hundredth. Kevin Harvick. 
Past series champ, jumped right out of the box, won three in a row early this season to set the tone for what he hopes will be a championship run. This afternoon, he will anchor our Xfinity race telecast here on Fox, the driver's only show. It's all focus. Their aerodynamicist said, don't put your hand up there in the no, window. No, no, no. <laughs> Just, need, you keep, you keep both that. hands on the wheel. Yeah, they don't need any help there. Watch, the box. Always, Watch the box in the lower right. It's staying steady at three. One hundredths of a second over teammate Kurt Busch. Hey, one thing about Plaid, it's fast. <laughs> Plaid is fast. Seven one hundredths, eight one hundredths. That baby's coming to the line. And that's nine one hundredths. That's an eternity. Bring it on. Woo! To the pole, 49-24. He <laughs> got, I think he definitely got pushing off turn two. Car got a little high off that corner with Menard. Harvick. Green light, Blaney flirting with it. Oh boy, look at this lap Harvick is putting together. <laughs> yep. It just uh, continuing to increase. Uh, he's yeah. going to be two tenths up on the field. Menard seventh. Wow. Unbelievable. All Did, right. Five six nine, five five six to a six oh oh. Those are his wow. three rounds. Matt Kenseth in his 18th consecutive NASCAR All Star race. Roush Fenway Racing has four all-star wins. Uh, Matt has a win and two poles. And this is the hashtag Do You Know Jack 4. And it's all about trying to get Jack Roush, the fan vote, to get into the NASCAR Hall of Fame this year. I just think it's hilarious. Here we've been here all day long, rain all day long, and now the sun's out right here in qualifying. And then it's, hey, Matt Kenseth, you've been out of the car, you know, since uh, the end of last year, put you into Kansas. Why don't you come to Charlotte next week and then run down pit road wide no, open? No, <laughs> die, die bomb this baby. Let's see how he gets on the road here, how fast he comes off the track. Three, two, one, now. Pretty good pace coming out of pit road and in the middle, hard on the brakes, 146 miles an hour at the end. Nice and clean into the box. Going to do the left sides first. So that's both Roush Fenway Fords going to the left side first. Ricky Stenhouse, his teammate, with 16.3. for Matt Kenson. Steve, nice stop. Oh, got on the apron. Yeah, it was a nice stop. It wasn't the best speed of getting on, on the pit road, though, Jeff. I think he was a little off there, it looked like. That will be the best pit stop of the day if there are no penalties. <laughs> half on, half off. Now, now one of the things I, I think this car is going to have to work on for the race, look how high that splitter is off the ground. They, they've got some work to do to get that splitter down and sealed to the racetrack. I don't think we saw Matt in practice. I'm not sure if he was one of those cars that probably didn't not make it out onto the racetrack in between showers. And Kenseth goes to the top, 207.644. <laughs> How about that? All about adjustments and communication, what that driver's comments were giving back to uh, Adam Stevens on what they need to do to go even faster this final lap. That car looked so good through that corner. Right, never wobbled, never bobbled. It just went through there. The, the back end was just yawed out just perfectly. Almost broke loose, but at the very exit of the corner. Three minutes to go, and still no one else has ventured out on track. It looked like he got a little bit wide right there. I don't know if he got a little greedy with the throttle, but I, I didn't know if it tracked quite as good. About oh, this, I think it same. did. Yeah, about, about the <laughs> same as last go-round. That thought, is I, his fastest lap of the day. Doug Yates and that crowd, they have done their homework. When I hear... Kevin Harvick jumped back in the throttle in the middle of the corner like that, and it sticks as good as it does. I say the engineers and aerodynamicists and driver did a pretty good job there, too. It's the sum of all the parts. Great driver, great crew chief, great car, great engine package, good aerodynamics. What else is there? Boy, that car turns so good through the middle of three and four. That's where most of them are getting tight. Look at Ooh. Kurt Busch put up a lap. 35-40. Woo! Seven 100s faster than Harvick. That's the fastest lap that's been run here since Jeff Gordon set the track record. Look at Larson also behind him making up a lot of speed. To the top. 
116-02 for McMurray. Here's his teammate, Larson. All right, can't be too conservative getting in here into turn 11. Nice job. Oh, nice. boy, he really got through there well. He did. He took a Watch late, quick, wide exit. exit getting in. It really paid off. Oh, yeah, this is going to be big. Kyle Larson, three-tenths faster than Jamie Mack. Boy, he picked up six to seven-tenths from his round one time. We also see going out there now in the 21, Paul Menard. Almarola is about tenth and a half, a tenth off. And right now he's fifth of the six that have been timed. Paul Menard, he's got a shot here. Paul Menard, fastest in round one. <laughs> look at this. Come on, Paul. Take look a look at this. At this. <laughs> in the green. Boom. Paul Menard oh, to the man. top. 29.99. I see him smile yet today. That is a just over a tenth of a second faster than he ran in the round, round two. So good pickup. Ah, you know that feels good. Get to the bottom of the racetrack. Now his goal is to stay on the bottom of the racetrack. So the timing of where you get to the bottom at that start finish line is very important. You can see already he's faster. Hear that race car hit the bottom of the racetrack. Not much wheel movement at all. Look at his right hand. It's barely moving. Holding that car straight, steering wheel straight, just as we heard Dale Jr. say, he learned that. At Talladega, his dad taught him, don't move the steering wheel, don't let it move. Ten and a half to the good going into turn three. And you can hear it hitting. He's going to smoke the field. This is a pride run right here. This is everybody on the team can high five each other and say, man, we didn't win by a little bit, we won by a ton. A quarter of a second. Chase Elliott dominates qualifying from Daytona. What is Kyle Busch going to do? You think he's got a little bit of what Ricky said in his mind? I don't think so. A veteran driver can usually shake that right off, and I don't think he really probably wouldn't even really listen to Ricky too much, or too intently at least. Third quickest for Kyle Busch, a 28-69, a good lap, yeah. a very good lap. A young driver, though, if that situation's happening on pit road right before they go run that final round, it could definitely affect their psyche. Martin Truex Jr., 28-58, was able to back up what he ran in round two. Eric Jones, 28-61, second quickest. I like how he's running and no one else is even there and he moved out of the garage stall or their pit road stall. This is setting the tempo though. Everybody knows he just ran a 28-50. Sandy Hamlin says, I'm not done. He has one more corner. Going the wrong way. Will he get off the corner? Can't get the power down. It looks like he'll do it. And it's looking good at the line. Sandy right. Hamlin, fastest. Take that green flag. Not nearly that length to go two miles around this racetrack that is so fast the fastest in nascar and if you want to sit on the pole i think it's going to end up at this end of the racetrack three and four seems to be the trickiest a larson very close does larson do it he does larson 1501 going into one Logano on the track eric jones on the bottom of the racetrack in one and two Logano's coming to get the green Jones is in the green. Yeah, he ran the bottom of one and two. Real surprising there. Stays, middle of three and four. Stays in the middle and staying green. Can Eric Jones win the pole in Vegas? And he had a great three and four. Looks really good. Jones is fastest that's now. A, bro, that's a good lap. I think his, his crew chief just told him looking good here, so... Yeah, he got through there pretty decent. A little slower than AJ there. Now, is that info you would want? Would you want to know that on the back stretch? Uh, I mean, it would be, I don't know. In qualifying, <laughs> you're trying to get it all. It might be enough to help you uh, finish the lap off clean. This would be a big statement if he can He's pull it off. The gas. Oh, man. Not enough. Did he? He did. He got it. He does. Oh. That's a Impressive. big statement for a playoff oh, card. In the field by a ton. He, he's got a shot of breaking into the 48 second. Oh, he's definitely getting Kyle Busch, Clint Boyer, Blaney and Byron on the racetrack right now. I think it's a big weekend for Clint Boyer and his team. They led over 200 laps here in the spring, won the race. 
Always want to come back and run well to a place that you won earlier in the year and up so many points on the line. Yeah, a great good day here can make a huge difference in a chance to go to Miami. Yeah, good race car in practice for the best average overall. And this lap, this is second lap, moving up to fourth. And it's a 74 on his second lap. Then Hamlin ran that 70 on lap three. Kyle Busch goes up to 71. Ooh. Blaney now at 70. It's a fast lap for, for Kyle on lap two. Blaney also very quick on his second lap. And now Boyer goes to the top of the chart. Just yeah, the time for Kyle Busch to knock him off. Kyle Busch now, who, just as a side note, is who I picked to win uh, the poll in my fantasy league. This wave of cars actually has performed outperformed that first wave. Aside from Byron, Byron's not been able to put up any good laps here, and he's sitting there in 12th. Magana on the racetrack is in 11th. But Kyle Busch, Boyer, and Blaney all in the top four. There's Kevin Harvick also now on the clock. Denny Hamlin on the clock on his first lap. So you expect these guys to, to run a little faster on that second lap. Chase Elliott, his first lap, 25-92. Very, Very good first lap. If he can, I mean, if he can improve, which most guys will. How about this first lap from Harvick? 25-83 wow. for Harvick. You see how hard that car hit the bottom of the racetrack? I'm not surprised that Kevin Harvick, with his back against the wall, comes out and says, you're going to have to beat me. That doesn't surprise me one bit. Kyle Busch not done yet. Still with a second lap. 